But I don't want to get into the details of what you actually serve um, at the family dinner. On my parenting podcasts at parentingdoctors.com uh, or at iTunes, Parenting Doctors Podcast at iTunes, I've talked about the oven timer strategy. And I would recommend setting the timer that family dinner is at least 20 minutes. And so I recommend family dinners that families have five, four to five family dinners a week. And setting the timer at 20 minutes. Look, we don't leave our chair until those 20 minutes are up. And it's about having family dinners. And it's about making a difference for families. And, and I think that's, that's the biggest key. So then what do we talk about? I recommend maybe sometimes free flow, flexible conversations and things. That, but I want to recommend that parents, for the most part, come up with some agendas, some discussions. And that one person talks at a time and and that the kids learn to engage in meaningful dialogue at family dinner. So again, use the oven timer strategy, screen-free zones, turn off the, the, the TVs, no TVs. Kids learn best interacting with people. Uh, turn off the phones, leave the phones, get the phones away from the TV. We're not checking the phones, we're engaged in meaningful conversation. And that parents come up with discussion topics. Here are some some key discussion top topics. How are we shaping the culture versus just being entertained? So a lot of people, whether we're talking about video games, smartphones, social media, movies, uh, it's all about being entertained. Instead, how can we shape the culture? I think that's a key discussion topic. Here's another one. In what ways can we leave our comfort zone? See, for a lot of people, it's about being comfortable. What are some ways, uh, Charlie and Lisa, that we leave our comfort zone, individually, as a family? That can then lead to some great discussions about some new activities, new family activities that we can do. Here's another one. So many kids are anxious about being embarrassed. How can we be unafraid of embarrassment? I often uh, will engage in encourage families to talk about worst case scenarios, most embarrassing moments, increasing the tolerance threshold of worst case, uh, worst case scenarios. Uh, could you tolerate that? If you were embarrassed in front of the entire school, you know, could you tolerate that? How would you cope with that? What would you do? Uh, whether it's you slipped and fell, whether it's milk, you water got spilled on you, you were at a talent show and, and you know, you, the thing did not go right. Whatever it is, come, come up with worst case scenarios. And could you tolerate that? How can we be unafraid of embarrassment? So those are three discussion topics. It's about families leading, it's about parents leading their families. A family dinner is not about what we eat. It's about how we connect. The purpose of the family dinner is not just to feed kids. It's about setting a course. If you don't know the uh, if you don't know the port you're sailing, no wind is a strong one. It's about setting the course for the for the ship, the port that we're sailing to. Parents need to lead their families.